At the end of the ceremony, the two of you will become one unit. However, the two of you are very different people. You have different likes, dislikes. You will see issues and problems differently. However, you need to be patient with each other and as a couple come to the best solution for your marriage and your family. The two of you are now one union. You love each other, and I know you're best friends, and you're committed to each other for life. So be kind. I've always found that I never had to take back any kind words. I promise you the two of you will not always get along. I know that's never not happened yet, but it's coming, trust me. You'll have arguments and disagreements, and when it happens, fight fair. There are no scores in your marriage. Each day is the first day of the rest of your life in your relationship. So leave what's in the past in the past. Move forward on your family course in the direction that you want it to go. Now these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these are love. Love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy, is not boastful, is not conceited, does not act improperly, is not selfish, is not provoked, does not keep a record of wrongs, finds no joy in unrighteousness, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Do you, Nick, take Alex to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you, Alex, take Nicholas to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Nicholas, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor to introduce my beautiful daughter-in-law, Miss Alex Curtis, and my tremendous son, Mr. Nicholas Curtis. Like a 